Imagine scoring at 18 years of age in the Serie A. Imagine scoring a perfect hat-trick in your own net. Imagine in one episode going from prostitutes to nuns to commercial breaks in the A-League. It's all happening on Born Offside. This title race, I swear it was over three, four weeks That's ago. That's what we were saying. No. If Liverpool you win their game speak. in hand, it's three points. Can't speak too soon, can we? Yes. I've never liked the Spurs more than in this yeah, moment. Yeah, I know. But it's always a Spurs or a Chelsea that come up when you just don't want them. Yeah. You know what I mean? When yeah. you need them or like when you need something yeah. in terms of a title race. Like and didn't we need it and wasn't it beautiful? Yeah. Kane played one of the best games I've ever seen him play. Yeah. Just perfect football. Yeah. And... For us Liverpool fans, it's just beautiful to see that the title race is back, yeah. that we're real contenders, mm. and I'm just really excited for the rest of the season. She swings a punch at one of these gentlemen. She did not. She swings a punch, and yep. he hits her. Square yeah, it, it was a flush hit. Yeah, I saw it. It was terrible. Crack. Hits Phil Foden's mum, right? Then another gentleman who's friends with Phil runs out with a fire extinguisher swinging at mm. a people. Could have killed someone well, with this fire at, extinguisher. Well, before, before, before that bit, like he comes out first. and he, Yeah, Phil comes out, yeah. No, Phil co yeah, Phil comes out as well, but like then Phil goes back in. Yeah. Because they like, I think one of the people grabbed them and like, Phil, get in. Cause get in. Because if you get in trouble yeah. here, yeah. you know what I mean? It's going to be a big media story. Yeah. Yeah. And then that guy comes out and tries to defend him and grabs the fire extinguisher and then starts like licking them as they're running <laughs> off. Nah, I can't. Yeah, it's funny. You wouldn't fuck with Mrs. Foden, I'll tell you that. But yeah, you look at yeah. her, right? She, For she, real. Was, she looked like um, uh, was it, is it Ursula from the the was it the Mermaid, the Little Mermaid? You know, you know the. <laughs> I think I know who you're about. You know, it's exactly. You know, yes. the, 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 you're yeah, disrespecting the Foden. Well, you know the bad lady from the Little Mermaid. You would not mess yeah, with Ursula from the Little Mermaid. I know you're on about. Yeah. No. <laughs> she was the villain for a reason. She was the villain for a yeah, reason, yeah, yeah. right? She kind of does. Now I picture it. Yeah, she does look like her. Christian Volpato scored. Incredible. Oh, yeah. For yeah. the first team as well. For the first team, he came wow. in off the bench. Jose Mourinho was down 2 0. AS Roma were down 2 0. And he brought him on in the 62nd minute. Three minutes later, he scores. Wow. Youngest player to score in the Serie A this season. Youngest so player. Cool. That's right. right. And he's an Aussie dude. And he's an Aussie. And the Wanderers let him go. Wanderers let and him go. he slipped through the A League system. It's <laughs> poor. It's, it's <laughs> poor all round from the Aussies. It's poor all round, man. Because What's a group of here? nuns oh. took a break. To play some football out in the what street. The Have a look at these here. nuns. Look what at the techers the on these ladies. Hell? This <laughs> is what you get in Italy. Even the nuns can play. Of course, it would come out of Italy. Yeah, exactly. Of course. And, they, and they, they look very structured yes. as well. Which <laughs> as a formation. It's a formation. <laughs> they look very structured, which could bring a whole new meaning to the phrase, right? It's now tight as a nun's back line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's, they were very structured and they look like there That's was no That's a good gaps. one. I'm, I'm going to use that. I've been thinking for years, you know, like Italy's known for the back lines and England's known for aggressiveness yeah. and Spain's known for the techers <laughs> and the dribbling. Yeah. And maybe, finally, yeah. we have an identity in Australia, we are known for scorpion kicks. Really? So Think that, about so it. I love it. Think so about it. Uh, it's true. So right? who else? We need to get goalkeepers starting to just like <laughs> <laughs> scorpion kick that shit out. <laughs> we need a few more. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. watch Australian so now, football so now, for that. Now we're putting that message out there. Yes. If you're playing in the A-League and you listen to this, just keep giving the scorpion yes. kick a go. Yes. Thoughts on Michaela Moore, who of course plays this for Liverpool and for New Zealand women. This is sad. Scored a hat trick. Might I add a perfect hat trick of own goals against the USA. So seriously, oh, this is how no. this a is hat trick of own goals. This is how a game went. Fifth minute, OG. Oh, it started so, bad. Six. Five. First five. Oh. So it's an uphill battle from here. Keep going. <laughs> Sixth minute, OG. Six. Oh, get <laughs> us. Oh no! Six <laughs> minute, thirty. So your head's down. Your head's down. Yeah, I don't yeah. want the ball. Don't give me the ball don't anymore. Ball. My head's gone. Then she had a half decent half an hour after. Okay, that. you're building back up. You're right. building back up. But building back up. Thirty sixth minute. Thirty six. The hat trick is completed. Fortieth uh, minute, subbed off. Nah, it's fair she enough. was subbed off for her mental health. It's oh. fair enough. Get me off. <laughs> Get me off. <laughs> Get me off. He was blowing up about it because the fact is, every time he's saying, every time the ball goes out, every time there's a yellow card, a substitution and that, there's there's drink breaks, there's all this shit. And the allegation is, it's all because the games are on free-to-air channel 10 yeah. and they need to insert ad breaks. Yes. Is it even an allegation or is it that. just straight up obvious? I hate that. Why am I watching... When you turn on football and I'm watching 45 minutes... I should not see a fucking ad break. Ridiculous, right? Yeah. In the middle of those 45 it minutes. It should Are not be serious? disrupting play. Yeah. But I watched that game. First of all, the VAR call that was made took like four took minutes to resolve, yeah. followed by a drink break. Yeah. The guys had completely cooled down by the time the, the game started you're again. You're slow again. You're slow. Yeah, you're not as... Like, you have those couple five minutes. And I, I don't really like water breaks because 
sometimes okay weather or whatever but like when you're in a rhythm when you're when you're in a tempo like you don't want to stop yeah. no. like even half time like that's why some teams when sometimes they come that's what I'm saying yeah. sometimes you're playing so well yeah. you don't want it to stop because yeah. you're like oh fuck I've got to start it again I've got to start yeah. that momentum again but have it like to do that like every 10 minutes 10 15 yeah. would it be fair to assume that these stoppages are happening because football is now back on free to wear yes. and it's being forced by someone higher up in yeah. the broadcasting world. They need to make money back. Exactly. Shit. And exactly. it bothers me so Stable. much because look at other sports. I think this this is an issue in Australia generally mm. with broadcasting. Yeah. It's the the same with the Big Bash. It's yeah. the same with but you know what? the like super. It's such a stop and start sport. Anyway. Totally. Like but they yeah? still yeah. they'll still stop it yeah. at a time where it wasn't supposed to stop. Yeah. Mm. But. I think you can't compare it to, you know, the NFL, which is well known for stoppage time. Yes. That yeah. is the definition of the game, basically. Yeah. Time out. But quality over quantity. There's only 14 games in a season. Yeah. Here, there are far more games. I feel like there's almost too much content. Mm. So putting breaks in the content is disrupting viewing. Yeah. It's pulling people away from appreciating the game for yeah. what it is. Beckham was the most overrated player in history wouldn't have gotten into Arsenal's Invincibles bench. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> what the hell? Are you serious? So you reckon, so you reckon Sir Alex is playing someone that wouldn't get into Arsenal's no. Invin- Come on. He was Sir in, Alex people, says people everything for, that's that what I'm People are forgetting that he was managed by Sir Alex. Yeah. Yeah. And that Sir Alex had spotted him from a really young age, kept yeah. an eye on him and then signed him. Exactly. And I, I think his time at United was amazing. Yeah. His 97, 96, 97 season, I believe, mm. was unbelievable. Like, he won the Prem. And like, he was still he was part, part of the, of the Madrid Galactica. Was he part okay. of the Yeah, yeah, yeah but they, I they feel like that's where could've. people, under they, they bring him down. Because yeah. as a squad, the Galacticos didn't actually achieve much. Yeah. Mm. Like, he was he played against amazing people and mm. with amazing people, Raul and mm. Zidane, Zidane and everything. And all of those. 